thanks for stopping by. Hey, this video, I'm gonna keep it short. It is, I'm just gonna share my experience with planting winter rye in Northern Minnesota. Um, what I did about two weeks ago, I had an area was just a bunch of ferns and uh, you know other overgrown plants that have been there for about four years since the last owner was here. So I just weed whip those things out and then I uh, put down, I would say about, you know, five of these of the uh, pelletized line that I bought at uh, Home Depot. And so I spread that about two weeks ago, came back last weekend, you know, just gave it some more lime. And then I planted winter rye in a couple of walkways because what we're doing is Next year, we want to kind of expand our area where we could have friends and family, you know, put their tents up. So I figured clear it out, put the winter rye, and then I also planted some No BS by Domain uh, Seeds. There's kind of a little micro plot out there. I planted that just last weekend, and the germination looks fantastic. But, um, you know, back to that winter rye. If you have a feed store or you know live in like a or near a small town or I'd say it's even worth driving to one, I was able to get fifth a fifty pound bag for fifteen bucks. I mean that's dirt cheap. And like I said, that's it's winter rye, you know, not rye grass. And uh that's what it looks like. And I just went and you know, spread it real liberally, you know, with uh my Scott and I, I had it on a, on a three, if that makes a difference. But uh, let's just go uh, take a look and uh, I'll show you the progress. And again, this is one week, only, you know, did minimum lime on it. So let's take a look. This is going to be kind of a little shortcut to uh, our cabin. So, but you'll notice, you know, that, that green, what you're seeing that looks like... Uh, grass you know like you just planted some grass at home that is the winter rye you know and as you can see it is coming up nice and i'm just gonna let it grow and you know let the deer and uh you know moose and whatever have you feed on it all winter long and then i'll just mow it and then i'm gonna do clover in the spring so this whole area will be uh you know clover but uh, i mean look at that germination that is i'm impressed i am very impressed and i was so lucky I, like i said i planted last week but i had all week it rained up here so timed it right so then you know we keep then we come over here and this is the area where i did the um domain no bs and that is, I uh, had some oats, some rapeseed, uh, crimson clover, another clover, I don't remember, uh, chicory, daikon radish, and uh, you know, it is, it's really germinating nice. I can tell those are definitely radish seeds, like that one, that one, that one. But as you come out here, I like this though want to step on it and ruin it all but yeah very impressed you know like I said this is the no BS and again kind of like the plan and it goes all the way through there that little opening that little clearing there same thing just the no BS and uh, this was planted last week got some good grain and uh, I'm north of two harbors so again this food plot it's more just to you know, have some deer close to the cabin so we could watch them and I just love to garden so now it's my time to build food plots and um, let the wildlife enjoy you know I'm not gonna be hunting you know right here it's it's just for for them to eat and enjoy and then like I said, that then next uh, spring it should be good ground for clover and for uh, you know any visitors that come and camp. So, hey, so far I am I'm very impressed. That winter rye, I mean, 50 pounds for 15 bucks, dirt cheap. So, if you have a chance or have a feed store, definitely uh, 
definitely worth checking out. And uh, that no BS, like I said, that food plot, I got terrible acidic soil up here uh, on the North Shore. And, you know, I just put down a, a few of those, uh, you know, things of lime, you know, probably five in this, this whole area that you see. And so far things are growing. Hopefully it doesn't peter out, but uh, this weekend here, I'm going to, I'm going to be adding, you know, some more lime to it and uh, pray for the rain. So let me know how your uh, food plots are doing. And, oh, it is, uh, what is it, August 23rd today or really close to it. So, but uh, hey, please subscribe, leave me a comment and uh, make it a great day.